don't like what you're doing and be done with it. And let the plant start to grow back instead of this plotting. Next slide, you'll see them here. Here's crude oil up in the vegetation. Here they are with a the rake, slowly trying to, trying to pull the oil away from the plants. Scrape it up, be done with it quickly, and let the plants regrow. Again, I, I don't know. Next, next slide. <laughs> um, Fort Morgan, that slide doesn't show up real well, I'm sorry, but the difference in color, um, as you look down towards the east of Fort Morgan, that is oil at the mouth of the, mouth of the bay. The energy of the bay was great enough to not allow the oil to come in. And then uh, the next slide, July 23rd slide, is that's oil right off the shoreline of Horn Island, and that was July 23rd. Um, this is a pet peeve of mine. I've been fighting the Department of Conservation. Uh, Barnett Lolly and I are really good friends. He's the commissioner. But we have a problem. He and I have a, uh, a, a disagreement over the use of rocks to close Katrina Cut. We know historically that when you use hard substances, rocks are hard, right? Concrete are, is hard. A, this wall is hard. Any time in a high energy environment that you use a hard substrate, you cause additional erosion. When they finished it, this has got the engineer from Thompson Engineering, who got the contract to do the engineering, so it's a great job. Um, the, the next hurricane, I mark my words, the next hurricane that enters the Gulf, both sides, if the rocks are even there, they'll be a miracle, and both sides of the rocks are going to now going to have two cuts. A cut on each side of the rock. And I'm not just saying this. That, I mean, there are well-documented uh, people that have studied hard substrating a high-energy environment. We just don't seem to learn. I passed on all of these journals, all of these articles. $17 million project. And listen, there's no oil. Aren't they supposed to take this back down in 2011? Oh, yes, that's the, yeah, but the, the way the contract for the core reads, the core says you have a one-year permit and the rocks will be removed, but you can apply for a, conti a continuation. Um, it, but but the, the main point is the rocks are there to stop the oil from coming in. There's no oil. I mean, listen to Noah. 75% of the oil is gone. What are we worried about? $17 million can be spent better somewhere else. How about the poor fishermen that haven't caught a fish since May? Why not give them the money? All right, put it out in those communities. Next slide, please. And uh, <laughs> two weeks, three weeks after the spill, the BP's in charge now, you have to understand. Nobody in our government's in charge. And that's because there was a law in 1992 that was passed that, and it was a good law for you and I in the concept. That law made the company that did the damage, whether it was on land, on a river system, or out in the ocean, the company that did the damage is liable and must take all actions to correct it. Well, that meant that they're in charge. They're in charge of the media. They're in charge of hiring. They're in charge of how it's going to be done. They're in charge of who's going to pick it up, when it's going to be put. And then Fat Allen, he might be a real nice guy. The, the, uh, the uh, Coast Guard Admiral has been at my lab three times. Uh, I guess when you're at that rank, you know, you're, you're pretty pious. And he comes across that way. And, and when he first came to the lab, Two, three weeks after the spill, we're backing off, we're watching, BP's in charge, BP's in charge, you know, we're just here to make sure they follow through. Now, all of a sudden, they catch the well, I'm in charge, I will tell them when to put the cement down, I will tell them when to stop the... <laughs> all of the whole chain, now, how can that happen? Well, it's not really. And so we had 900 people on Dolphin Island for about two months before the first drop of oil ever came to the shore. Meanwhile, over in Louisiana, the crew was washing into the marshes and not a soul was there to help pick it up. Next slide, please. And then uh, somebody photoshopped this, obviously, you know, the health warnings. Uh, the, problem, the problem is, as you well know, if you're a coastal environment that depends on tourism, uh, it doesn't work. Next slide. And this is a real slide. This is uh, down on, this is on our beach, on Dolphin Island, 